And so that's reverse, neutral, drive. Sure. So I was like, I'm gonna make a flux capacitor and it's just gonna be my cover. There's some battery modules in there. There's 12 oh, yeah. right here. And then there's another 12 kind of hidden underneath the floor. They go right there. Jacob. Yes. Thanks so much for uh, being willing to give us a tour of this. Thank you. What do we got here? Okay, so this is a 81 uh, DeLorean DMC-12. Um, it was originally, uh, you know, when I bought, I bought it in 2014. When I bought it, it had a twin turbo Grand National engine in it. It was, um, uh, to say that it was in bad shape is kind of an understatement. <laughs> I mean, cosmetically, at least from the outside, the 20 foot view, it looked really good. That's why I bought it. And then uh, when I, when I got into it, it, it was kind of a, a mess. So the, the motor had been very neglected. The wiring harness had clearly that, you know, a dozen alarm installers have been through it <laughs> through the years and you had vampire taps. And of course, the, the wiring is all Lucas, Lucas Electronics and, uh, you know, the pr whole Prince of Darkness thing reigns true with, uh, <laughs> with this car. So, uh, you know, I, um, I was discouraged. I rebuilt the thing. Wasn't really happy with it, even like rebuilding it. You know, I rebuilt the motor and you know redid the wiring and all that. And uh, in parallel to this, I started kind of getting into the EV space. You know, because I'm, I'm I like building cars. I like building stuff. And um, I uh, I wanted to see. I knew that the market was kind of heading towards you know EVs, and or at least the hot rodding world will eventually get there. And yeah. I wanted to figure it out. You know, because I like to I like to you know do that sort of stuff and work with my hands. So. I um, worked on some projects with some friends, and I also was, um, I built an inverter, uh, you know, from scratch, and I just wow. did that in my garage. That's and amazing. It, it, uh, it was a lot. Um, it was a very challenging yeah. project. It's no small feat to build your own inverter. <laughs> it, it worked. So it took, it took several months, and I finally, it would spin the motor, and then um, it was a, several months after that to have everything work well. Um, but I didn't have an idea for a home for this yet, and then, I was uh, I was planning on getting a little hatch hatchback like a little CRX or a, um, a Ford Focus, and then I then I thought about this car and I did a little measuring and lo and behold the drive unit fits perfect in there, and uh, then I, I started just getting to work. I immediately pulled the gas engine out of it and um, you know pulled the body off, started pulling everything that was all the ice related stuff, you know fuel tank, fuel lines, you know the coolant lines uh, for the heater core that run all the way down the car got all this stuff out and just started started working on a conversion project and this is this is where it is now it's gone through several sort of iterations you know I, I, I ran that uh, custom inverter for a little bit and then now I'm running the um, a, a factory Nissan inverter mainly for peace of mind my other inverter was fine I didn't really have any problems but in the back of your mind you're thinking it's gonna strand you somewhere so what if yeah it's the what if so take us through Take us through the build a little bit. What are we looking at in this conversion? You want to start in the front or the back? Let's start in the back. Okay. There's something pretty special right here too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, well, I you know I'll just I'll, I'll talk about the most obvious thing. So, uh, I needed a cover for the for the inverter because it's ugly and I, I wanted it to look nice. Yeah. So Makes I sense. originally just made a well. There's two things. I wanted it to look nice, and I always get asked about the flux capacitor because it's a DeLorean. Sure. So I was like, I'm going to make a flux capacitor, and it's just going to be my cover. So I, I laser cut all this stuff out. This is like a, you know, aluminum backer. There's a couple pieces of acrylic. This is, you know, clear acrylic and a smoked acrylic. Then I made this, you know, white insert, and then I have a little Arduino microcontroller that's driving these little guys here um, to give me the little flexing. And then back in January, I got got it signed at a Comic-Con event. Um, but it's fun, it's just a nice little touch. Yeah. So as far as the EV stuff goes, this is, uh, it's got a Nissan Leaf battery pack in it. This is half the pack is in the rear. This is uh, just 24 modules in, in this box, yep. And then up front when we go back over there, there's uh, another 24 hidden underneath. Uh, if you look under, in a way, you can see that's a Nissan Leaf drive unit. Yeah. Back in there, my contactor box is directly below everything. Um, is that drive unit uh, with the integrated gearing as well? Yes. From the leaf? Yep. Cool. And so then I grafted the axles. Uh, the leaf, or sorry, the, the DeLorean uses 930 CV axles like, like a Porsche would. 
And so um, I, and what was interesting is the axle diameters are between the DeLorean and the Leaf are exactly the same. So I just grafted them together. Don't ask me how I did that, but I did it. <laughs> it's just, it's a, another fortunate Yeah, it was, accident. I was like, what do you know? It just works. <laughs> um, so um, that's kind of how all this is going together. It makes it a nice big, you know, clean engine bay. Yeah. And then if we go up kind of down the side of the car here, um, I kept the interior is, is basically stock looking mostly as possible. There's some touches, it's like Alcantara, and then I had, you know, a steering wheel wrapped in Alcantara and the logo put in the middle. Headliner's been done, but mostly it just looks like what a DeLorean looks like. Um, the, uh, it was a five-speed car, and so this is mode selection now. I removed the guts of the, the shifter and built an assembly with some little switches. Okay. And so that's reverse, neutral, drive. So it still looks like it's a five-speed, but it's not. That's cool. Yeah. And it has some tactile feedback yep. instead of a button push. Yeah, exactly. And I just wanted to, you know, look just like the car. Yeah. The um, instrument cluster is being driven by my VCU, so the TAC is showing instantaneous amperage. Um, and, uh, you know, the Speedo works like a Speedo. The, the fuel gauge works like a, you know, is showing me the battery status. Um, but that's about it. It's very, very standard, and any, any of the goodies are all hidden. But this is a neat detail for car shows to keep people... That's to keep people out of it, yeah. because the... Um, not that I would care if anyone gets in it. Um, normally, it's totally fine. But there's fragile things in the car, yeah. and typically, you would have uh, PVC door bars. Uh -huh. And I didn't want to do the PVC door bars. I wanted to have, like, cool little branded... Bars and the on material this thing. matches the body too. So yeah, that's all 304 like stainless. It's all it's all a match. Up front, we have the DC DC converter that comes out of a Chevy Volt. Okay. This is a 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger. It's a from TC Elcon charger. Um, underneath, this is a you know laser cut floor for the front. Underneath it, you can kind of see there's some battery modules in there. There's 12. Oh yeah. Right here. And then there's another 12 kind of hidden underneath the floor that go right there. And then the charging is all done where the factory car would have filled up. So that's where you would, on the DeLorean, you have to lift the hood to fill the thing up. I just ended up mounting all that stuff in the same spot. Same thing. Yeah. Awesome. And real quick, back to the VCU. Yes. What are you using for that? I'm using a Zombieverter VCU. Zombieverter? I just switched to that. Okay. Um, I basically, uh, you know, everything was very separate up until this point. So I had a separate controller just for the DC DC converter. I had a separate controller just for the inverter. I had a separate thing just for the BMS, right? But there wasn't a lot of integration and I wanted to start integrating stuff a lot more. And so I, um, you know, my background is being in software. Um, I'm very, was very comfortable using a very open source sort of um, VCU product. Sure. So I just switched over to that and that's nice because uh, now everything can be integrated and that can talk to my BMS and that can talk to, thank you. Uh, that can talk to my uh, BMS, that can talk to um, the inverter and the charger and the DC-DC and all that and also support things like fast charging. That's awesome. Yeah. So as far as performance wise, I'm sure you get to ask this a lot. I do get asked that. But <laughs> range? Zero to 60? Uh, range is about 80 miles. Uh, okay. Zero to 60 is probably in the eight-ish, okay. um, you know, right now. Um, I want to upgrade my batteries at some point. Upgrade the batteries, then, yeah, I can push it a lot harder. Definitely. Um, but honestly, it feels great, because the, the car is substantially lighter than a, a factory Leaf would have been, and um, it's it feels good. I mean, it's, it runs perfectly adequate on, on power. That's awesome. How fast have you taken it? Well, I've... I've 88. 88, okay, yeah. <laughs> gearing limited at that point, right? It becomes like, yeah, it's like yeah. a gearing limited. The, I think, I forget what the limit on the uh, inverter is. I think it's like 100 and something. It's shortly after that. Shortly after I've traveled through time. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's where the uh, flux capacitor comes in. Yeah, exactly. This is an amazing build, and uh, there's always people coming and looking at it because yeah. it's so cool. I oh, love thank it. thank you. Thank you very much for taking yes, the time to I walk Yes, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.